Yes, hello. Morning. Good morning, Ramakrishna. Good morning, Seema. Yeah. Right. Okay then. So, right. uh, yeah, only uh, we have to start the recording because yesterday's recording we don't have. So right, I can... right. I just clicked on this record button sure. just now. Sure. Are you able yes. to start the recording? Yes, yes. I already clicked on button, record button. Okay, no problem then. Yeah. Thank right, you. Right, right. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Then. Thank you. Right. So the things what we have discussed yesterday, it's clear to all of you. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, what is the concept we are discussing? Working with operators, or we can say evaluate operators. Screen is visible to you, all of you. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, right, sir. right, right. Okay, so we have discussed so far with how JavaScript. Okay, right. Mm. How to start with JavaScript onwards to displaying, commenting, working with the declaring that variables evaluate operators. Right then. Now, okay, what is the concept we have discussed here? First with arithmetic, right now. Huh? Right. In arithmetic, again, we have two things. What are those? Binary and unary. What is the difference between binary and unary? Binary operator works with the two operands OPE, OPE, RA, and DS. Whereas, plus, I mean, unary operators work with only one operand. Okay. And what is the concept of unary operators? Incrementing or decrementing based on the previous value. At that moment, whatever it is having, it is just either incrementing or decrementing. Right. So, okay. Now let's move to the concept of assignment operators. Under assignment operators, we have plus equals to minus equals to star equals to pi equals to and then modulus equals to. What happens here is, see, the concept of line number 31, sorry, 30, which is num1 plus plus. Internally, what it will happen? Num1 is acting as a variable and that is expecting something result or output from the expression. That expression is num1 plus 1 right hand side of equals to symbol assigning operator we can say it's called assigning operator right hand side of this the value of num1 plus 1 that will be assigned to the number right here what we can say here is okay num1 plus equals to or minus equals to or star equals to or by equals to like this we can say right hand side okay you can write a number any number or else you can also write another variable value that's the meaning so here what is the meaning internally num1 that equals to num1 plus num2. That is the meaning. Okay. So you can write here previous value of this expression. So we can say plus equals to after plus equals to. Okay. Let's see now. 
write previous seven. That is the value of num one. After that, seven plus y it is nine. Because of num two is two right now. So seven plus two nine, and that is out updated to the num one again. In the same way, you can also write minus equals to star equals to by equals to modulus equals to. Okay, that's called assignment operators. Then coming to the concept of comparison or relational operators. Here we say double equals to not equals to. Of course, we even can also write triple equals to not double equals to less than greater than less than or equals to greater than or equals to. Whereas arithmetic operators and assignment operators are giving the results in terms of numeric or number format outputs, right? And when it comes to the comparison, conditional or logical, will give results in terms of Boolean value, either true or false. So let's do one thing. I will just write here let x equals to something for let y equals to the value for and let z equals to 4.0. Okay. We have assigned some values here for each and every variable. Now the question here is how we are able to display the value of a particular variable. OK, we understood already that point. Whereas now we have planned to find out the data type of that particular variable. Right. So OK, first let us do on the document dot write. In the templating format, we are writing the value of x and The value of X, the value of Y, the value of Z. When you run this code, you will be seeing OK, the value of X, the value of Y, the value of Z. OK. And apart with this, we are even planning to find out the data type of it, each and every variable. The value of X. And its data type is how that you can find out. There is a keyword which is type of X. Let me just copy the statement. OK, now let us see here. Right, we are able to see the data type of X is number, the data type of Y is a string, and the data type of what is it? Z is also a number. Of course, either you give decimal point also, it will just give a number format, number data type only. OK, now. We'll just plan some expressions here. Comparison R S equals to X double equals to Y. So what do you say about this statement? Will it be getting true or false? You can see here the values. The value of X is 4, 
the value of y is 4 the value of z is 4.0 so do you say when you have written a statement here x double equals to y do you say which either it is going to give a true or else false false true false okay then the value of r e s okay let's see here i say it is true because you are comparing the value for the value of x is 4 the value of y is 4 in terms of data type when it comes to point you have to specify it is a number data type it is a string data type. but we did but the concept of double equals to is just comparing with its values only, no data type comparison. When you write triple equals to, then you have to say yes, false, because the data type of X, you are saying that it's equivalent to the data type of Y, but it is wrong right now. So, that's why. Okay. Of course, double equals to is just comparing that values. But triple equals to comparing the values at the same time, data types also, both. Okay. In the same way, you can also make it. Now, what do you say? You are clearly saying that the data type of X is not equivalent to the data type of Y. Right now correct only so it will get to that's the comparison the other things that you can write simply greater than symbol less than symbol greater than or equals to less than or equals to the rest of the comparisons okay then whereas conditional or ternary operator you will be writing some condition if that condition is getting true after that question mark whatever that statement that you have written will be executed. If the condition is not true, okay, and say it's false, it will jump out of the, sorry, it will jump to the colon block like this. That's, that's why we can even say ternary operator also. That is in the expression you are using something operator, whereas question mark and at the same time equals to symbol. So let's write here res equals to the total expression I am placing in opening closing parenthesis. Inside this, I am writing here greater than or equals to z. If it is true, saying that a statement z is greater than x or else x something statement x is greater than j of course it is also one of the statement right now either this or that we are planning to print so we are writing okay either okay instead of writing multiple times we'll do one thing You have to print this statement right finally. RES. Right. Z is greater than. Mm. Okay. Z is greater than. X. Right. Y. Okay. Here yeah, the first statement X is greater than right now. X is greater than Z, whereas Z is greater than X. Okay. Comparing to the above statement, instead of just you are getting either true or false, this time you are planning to display something, a meaningful statement where user can understand. Okay. 
x is greater than z like this and that to this state this point i mean the ternary operator or conditional operator conditional operator will give preference to single line statement if you want to make it a multi line statement you need to enclose this is also in opening closing parenthesis again okay let's see here for example backward slash sorry what is that escaping character why we are writing escaping character because we are planning to display multi line statement that's why to work out like this right now see work okay so the concept of conditional conditional or ternary statement is a point of giving something a meaningful statement depends upon the result what we have at the same time it even can also accept multi line statement printing okay this is called conditional or ternary statement whereas above i mean here here you have compared with one condition here you have compared with one condition if you want to make it multiple what do you say uh, conditions then you can just go with the logical operators those are logical and logical or and logical not symbol then so we can write here res equals to inside this the condition x not double equals to z that is one condition another condition z greater than or equals to y so in between that you can place either logical and or logical or the concept of logical and is as these two conditions are connected with the logical and 100 percentage these two conditions should get only true if any of this condition is getting false overall it is false okay so let's see okay what do you say here which what is the result or output either it is going to get a false or true with this you can check independently individually i mean individual means individual conditions x not equals not double equals to z i am writing meaning the data type of x not equal to the data type of z when you just go to here data type of 4 sorry data type of x is number whereas data type of z is also a number right now both are number but you are saying that not equal so that is wrong whereas z greater than or equals to y meaning the value of 4 greater than or equals to 4 that is true but among these two conditions one condition is failing so the output or the result will be false that is okay the same way you can write logical r as one condition is getting true obviously the overall output will be true whereas to apply okay let us do one thing here i will write with the logical and operator with the logical or operator whereas a combination with we can say with the logical and operator at the same time not operator also the same time here with the logical or and logical not so how to write overall for this total expression you can just apply logical not which is an exclamation mark that's it 
that's it so whatever we are getting that output that will be just reversed if we are getting a root true that will be false if it is getting false that will be converted to true that is the meaning of this statement what do you say logical not operator so overall these are the common operators that we will be using in terms of calculations purpose or we can say whether user have logged in or not like this we can also write okay but we will be enhancing what a clarity of all the operators how it works in the how it works clear yeah. right please unmute and discuss okay just to say what is one word that's it. just to get a clarity whether you are reaching the points or not that's it okay then the next that we can say let me close this one we are done with the concept of an operators then we can say statements enhancing the concept of an operators with two different types of statements that is one we can say decision making statements whereas another one loop statements under the concept of decision making statements first of all what is decision making statements the name itself it is saying that you are writing something condition based on the decision either it is true or false that particular block will be executed whereas in the above in uh, with the concept of conditional you are writing either true or false if it is true we are writing successful statement of course in terms of string format but we can't make it a number of statements maximum to just display one or two statements multi multi line statement but to make it something a more efficiency a more what you can say um, precise manner of in terms of executing that statement we can write some set of statements that can be worked with the concept of a block opening closing curly braces so here i say depends upon the decision if it is true we will be executing some set of statements if it is false we'll be executing some other set of statements so what are those here we can say we have if if else and we can say nested if else whereas even switch is concepts and one more point that we can say decision making statements work works with only one time i mean one time means either this or that and that will be completing the task but if you want for example you are you are having 10 records of employees or products or students information or anything something else not only 10 that is some set of results you have some set of records you have and you have planned to display one after the other either in table format or in the list format or something else format so how can you check it out how many records are there and from beginning to ending or okay among the total number of records if you want to plan from further record to fifth record like this how can you execute multiple records and that to giving an output that can be done with the concept of loop statements those are we can say commonly while but there is one more do while but of course no where we use there is no usage at all anyway we can discuss once that is not a big problem i mean it's not a problem that's not a big discussion here. So we will be even going to discuss do while also. So now let's enter into the concept of what do you say? Decision making statements. Let me just.
takes one. decision so in the script yes as discussed what are those that we are having if if else nested if else and then switch case nested if else means we will be writing multiple is okay let's write here not only number one you can apply anything i am just writing and the same time not only four okay let's do one thing zero now how to write as we have already discussed that expression or condition that can be written with opening closing parentheses. I'm just writing here inside that opening closing parentheses num1. And that is associating with if. If. The value of num1 is valid value. Enter into the block. Inside this. You can write maybe a one statement or 10 statements. It's your wish depends upon your requirement so i'm just writing here the value of num1 is a valid valid value OK, let's just refresh. I mean, open the output. It is not displaying. Why? OK, let us check it out. Click on inspect element and go to console. Of course, even no error. Because of. In JavaScript, if a particular variable is having a value 0 or null or undefined or false, like this, all these things are all considered as a false only. Whereas the value of num1, we have assigned it to 0, it is considering it is as a false. If no, I mean, if no, 0 means nothing else. That's why you can say so if no value that is jumping out of this block. Let's write here now. Else. The value of num1 is invalid value. Now you can able to see. Yes, the value of num1 zero is an invalid value. OK. That is how you can just check it out. That means checking that whether that variable is having a valid value or not. That is first question or first point. Second thing. This time you are comparing. The value of number is equal to zero or not. Yes. The above you are saying that whether that whether this variable is having a valid value or not. Here you are checking that you are not come. You are not checking the valid or invalid. You are checking. Yes, it is having some value that is equivalent to this or not. You are checking. So if it is equivalent, you can write here the value of num1 is. Equivalent. To zero. If it is not equivalent. is not equivalent to 
zero. Okay. Let's check it out. Yes, the value of num one zero is equal to zero right now. Great. So this is how you can write if and if else. Now let's move to the next concept, which is nested if else. For example, okay, let h equals to 28 you have given. You are checking that if h greater than or equals to, okay, let's make it here, less than 18. Then saying that a statement, for example, document dot write the value of age is less less than 18. OK. Additionally. Else instead of directly closing it else block again, you are opening if condition. Whereas age greater than or equals to 18 logical and and again age less than 26. Let's write like this and then you can say the statement. The value of age is. In. Between the right 18 and 26 right now you can say. OK. Then additionally, once again, like this, you can write multiple conditions. So else if age greater than this time from 26 onwards, whereas age less than 35, something like this. The value of age is in between. 26. And 35 like this, you can write multiple conditions, but 100% is at last. It should be else block. You should not skip this one. And you can say here a simple statement. Document. Dot write. The value of. Age is greater than twenty, sorry, thirty five. Right now we can see. So, what will be the output here in this case? As I can't remember the names, so I'm just uh, waiting for your answer. Sne I think I remember only one name as of now. Sneha, of course, uh, the others. Please, not only Sneha, everyone, what will be the output here? No guessing, any guess, of course, just. So it's my, uh... Why, why statement will like true? Hoga, I think. Sir, value is in between please. 26 and 35. 26 and 35, 26 and 35. Okay, you are saying this one. Sort of block, yes, sir. Mm. Right, exactly. Because, yes, which is greater than 26 and less than 35. Correct. That's okay. Yeah. Right now. 28, the value of age is 28, is in between the 26 and 35. Right. So all are from, I mean, of course, I'm just casually asking, all are from, so, I mean, from which places? I mean, North India totally or South India also? <laughs> just because I am not comfortable with Hindi, that's the reason. Hello, sir. 
Hello. Hello. Yeah, your voice is too low. Somewhere else it's. Yeah, hello. Yeah, sir, you please decide, sir. Ah. Uh, okay. Sir, I have a question, sir. This is this is my first class, sir. So uh, to, to yesterday I not attend the class some reason. Oh. Okay. This is my first day, so what uh, means? Tell me. What am I? How much will I get tomorrow? Sorry. Please don't mind. I am not comfortable comfortable with Hindi. Only English. Okay, okay. No, sir, no, sir. This is my first class, sir. Mm, okay. So I'm not attending the yesterday class. So how much syllabus is? Uh, okay, okay. Yesterday. yesterday, yesterday. What are the points that we have discussed yesterday? We have discussed from how to start off. Okay, what is JavaScript onwards to up to this point? We have discussed all these six points, and we are into this point, and we have started continuity from evaluate operators. Okay. Of course, it's just a basic points only. Yeah, Kindly, please just. Ah, uh, sorry. Yeah, I know about the where let and constant, uh, all these things. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's it. That today we have just started from evaluate operators and moving ahead. That's it. Okay. Okay. Hello. Sir. Right. Tell him, please. Sir, can you give recording to us? Ah, uh, today we. Of course, yesterday I thought that someone will be recording, so it's not recorded. But anyway, today it's. Recording that will be given an access from your team. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. So got a clarity right now, oh, and that is an study fails. Now let's do one thing. If you observe here, it seems something that of course not too much, a bit complicated, but something else. Some uh, we can say clumsy. But to overcome this basic clumsy, instead of opening too many number of Blocks, right in the conditions. We just can simplify with the concept of what do you say? Switch case. So okay, here I am just writing let um, name. Okay, or as we can say user name that equals to because not only the point of working with the, uh, what do you say numbers. We will be even working with the strings. You get an idea. We are writing this one. and writing here a switch of switch of passing that the name of that sorry the value of that user name and inside this inside this we can write a case. Those who are totally new. Those who are having a basic idea, okay. Of course, those also. I mean, every member, please take practice. That is very important, okay. After completing obsessions, the next before coming to the next session. As of now, today we are into the basic only. Whereas tomorrow we will be entering into the middle level and then later advanced level. So kindly just make the continuity of your work in practice also, so that you will be. Uh, see, general term, of course, even I will, I'm just saying that generally, if we are having some idea about some points, we will just keep it aside, okay, as we already know. But what happens here is when you start reading of a book or anything, if you follow from the beginning onwards, you will be getting a enthusiasm or, of course, curiosity, the continuity and interest. This is general idea. Okay, as a we are a human beings, of course, of course, we are all generally thinking how we can think. I'm just saying in terms of that point, of course, in not a too much of diff, uh, part of motivation, just a simple motive statement only. What as a trainer, I just wants to increase you. So those who even don't have an idea that those who don't have an idea, 100 percentage how to put the efforts from the beginning onwards, those who have an idea, you will be taking less time compared to others in terms of practicing. But everyone, please keep it ready. Even it is a very simple statement or else whatever it is, but keep it just an example, a daily whatever we are discussing, and that enhance your continuity in middle level programming and updating, sorry, uh, advanced level programming of JavaScript. Of course, not only JavaScript, 
further react node express whatever it is we are going to discuss okay so make it my point is make it a continuity of practice in that sub point i say by the end of the sessions you should be able to in terms of development and up uh, you should be in terms of developing an application on your own okay that you should show also at least not too much high end you should show something else at least uh, how you can create a react application how you can create that uh, node mongodb as what are the things that we are discussing that it will be totally december month and january month also okay so two months minimum it will be so this two months taking care of what are the points that are all important so by the end of the sessions you should be in a point of give a competition to others okay right there hello sir sir me please tell me please sir in two months uh, what uh, what what will be cover js or react js ah uh, no in this to total two months of daily we will be having one and a half hour session from monday to friday right now you yes, say sir. that is december month and january month i'm saying that okay yes. because anyway november is already completed almost so this is uh, we are touching with the concept of javascript of course already we have started we are next going to enhance with the react js how to create a single page application as a front end or client side irrespective of any application will be having three tier architecture or we can say client server architecture client server architecture that anyway i will discuss deeper as of now i am just giving an overview what is a client what is a server a client is something that where user is taking an action in the particular browser i am the client to your application that means i have opened your application in my browser here human being is not a point of client the browser is a client okay so a, a user is sorry a browser is uh, loading the data based on the user actions when you click on a button when you type something it should show something list out a short, uh, in the google you are typing something you will be getting shout box right now or suggestion box right now this kind of an action software will perform so when you are doing some action at a client side from where it has to get the data server should send the data because a server is hosting the data a server is a place where the data is hosting or storing so that's why we say client server architecture a client is sending a request server is checking for the request sorry server is checking that request and giving a response if it is finding out you will be getting successful output if it is not finding out you will be getting failure output these points that is react is acting as a client side node and express is acting as a server as a business logic of your application whereas to maintain the data persistent or permanent or manipulation we go with the mongodb clear now the four parts how react and the node express and what do you say uh, mongodb works as of now i just given an overview but when it comes to the point of each and every technology will be discussed from point to point how to start how to set up an environment how to create a single page application what is single page application and so on so on all these points okay clear okay sir right so not exactly say i don't see i don't prefer even i don't give preference to only the number of sessions or the number of points okay within the two months only it has to be completed like this depends upon your interactivity depends upon your questions and doubts the numbers say the sessions may be increased that i am ready to increase you i am ready to even you such a manner also so don't think only within two months okay we have to complete it's not a point of two months or 10 days or one week or one month it is a point of how far that you are learning you are interacting with me you are understanding the points you are implementing that things what we are discussing in the daily session okay but of course daily we don't discuss all these points in general statements we will be discussing the points which has to be discussed in the technical part right then now so yes switch of that particular variable value 
which it has to compare each and every case. I am saying here first case as we have given here in a string format. So that checking also should be in terms of string format. Here I am writing something and case saying that document dot write the username just writing logged in successfully. OK, the same way you can write multiple or n number of cases. So let's do it. Let's write. Yeah. John. Mm, OK. David. Asmi. Whereas after completing of all the cases, it's mandatory. You should write a default statement. You can say here. Document dot write. None of the case is matched with given username. So if you just check it out, this one, what will be the output? All the statements. The username John logged in, the username John logged in, the username John logged in. At the same time, none of the cases also, none of the cases matched with the given username. That's totally wrong right now. Whatever that particular, whatever that particular case is matching, only that particular case should get executed and the rest of the cases should not execute. In that case, what we can do here, we can use a break statement. A break is a built-in keyword. Of course, you can say keyword. When you say keyword, obviously it is built-in only. Okay. A break is a one of the keyword which when JavaScript parser executes this statement, it is understanding. Okay, I need to jump out of this block. I mean here JavaScript parser. So the same way, write for each and every case. But last one is not occurred because it's the last statement right now. So now let's see. Right, exactly that you are able to see the username John logged in successfully. Right, this is how that you can work with the concept of decision making statements. Of course, what are those? If, if else, nested if else. And even we can say switch and case concept. Right then. So case. If you give a value number, make it number comparison. Don't go with string. If you, of course, number or what you can string mostly for boolean, either true or false, that's not it. Only two cases you can write. For that, you don't need to write. You can write simply nested if else or if else concept. Then, and here, as discussed, once that particular case or particular statement is completed and the JavaScript parser is coming or moving forward only no point of reverting back automatically if you want to see again the total program that needs to run but now what we have planned to do is we have some set of records and that we have planned it to display one after the another for time being what we can do here is let's do one thing so okay which is loop statements 
here, what are those that we have loop statements? That is repeating statements, repeating the set of statements. While bar. OK, you can also add. Do why here, but you should be very careful here. If the condition is or if the logic is mismatching, not mismatching, if the logic is if the logic is went wrong, then the loop will be continuously executed. It will be infinite loop. What is the problem of that infinite loop means? as the total system process will be giving preference to this loop and your system will be hanging. So be careful. So right here, let for example, something else count and that equals to zero. Then you are writing y count one less than by the meaning that, that you have planned for five times to execute. 0 less than 5 inside this writing here document dot write the value of count 1 that If you save it, OK, no problem. But if you run, it is infinite loop because of. For each and every time the count is zero, sorry, the count one is zero. So while zero less than five, it is true. It is entering into the block. Once it is coming to the closing curly braces, again, it is reverting back automatically. Again, it is zero. So it is a continuity. You should change. So count one like this. That is for each and every iteration, for each and every rotation of this loop, you are changing that value. So now it will become one less than five, two less than five, three less than five, four. And when it comes five less than five, it just say, what is it? Wrong. You can say false right now. Okay, now let us check it on this one. Right, right. The value of count one zero, value of count one, one two three four zero to five. That is five items, but it's starting from zero right now. That's why we can say zero to four. Okay, this is one way. That is when you have planned in the initial stage itself. If you are planned to check it out the condition, if the condition is getting true, then only you have planned to display or do some action. Then you can go with the while concept. But for example, if count value something else eight in the initial stage itself, it's getting fail and no point of displaying any data. So in this case, you have expected at least one time. So to make it an at least one time irrespective of either true or false, then you can just go for example. OK, let me just make it here. Count two that equals to something and write do just do and write these two statements the value of count one that comes count two the value of count two at the end you have to write while while count two less than five. That is initially we are not checking that condition. It is just simply entering from the second time onwards. We have planned to check it out so you can see at least one statement. Whereas. While and do while OK, we got a clarity how it's working. And if you observe one more point. Initialization is at one place. Initialization. Condition. Statements execution. Of course, incrementing or decrementing. That's later point. Right now. 
instead of writing for multiple number of lines, you can plan for let I I stands for index D forty. We can say I I equals to zero in the same statement or same line. You are writing condition I less than five, whereas I plus plus. Yes, of course, as already you have incremented, so you don't need to once again increment. Whereas you can write here a simple statement the value of I. Value of I. Right. For I equals zero. I less than five, that is zero less than five. And. I plus plus. OK, if the condition is getting true, it is entering into the block. From this, it is incrementing or decrementing. Right. That means only for one time, this initialization will be executed. It won't execute for multiple number of times. This is all about. Of course, we have even some advanced for each, for with of, for with in. This will come with ES6 features. ECMAScript advanced version of JavaScript before entering to the concept of React JS. Of course, that also will discuss as soon as that we complete the main points of JavaScript along with the JavaScript concepts. Okay, that is how. Then now let's move to the next concepts. Right, clear right now to all of you. The concept of how the decision making statements working and at the same time loops working. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Let's move. Yes. To the concept of an. Arrays. What is an array? In the above concepts of all that we have discussed. One way, one value. One variable concept. Let A equals to 5. Let age equals to 20. Let username equals to John. If you have group of items which are of the same category and you have planned, let all the group of items locate at one place itself in the memory location. Then in that case, you can go with the concept of an array. An array is a set of items or elements. OK, let me write here. An array is a set of items or elements under one variable and you can also write here an array is a set of different data type items or elements also we can say not only the same category we have to follow we can also follow we can also search different things okay how it works let's see practically so point now we are planning to save some set of items under one variable. Implementing, okay, working or implementing just an additional. The concept of arrays. Now, let something variable a r r one, and that equals to. If you are writing something, again it will go with a default, of course, which we have discussed, a single value with single array variable name. But we have planned to save some set of items that needs to be in square bracket. And in this square bracket, you can say a group of items. 
it can be a number, it can be a boolean, it can be a string, anything. And separated by comma, each value separated by comma. So I'm just writing here. For timing, I'm just writing numbers. Whereas another example that you can write something else. So we have some set of items. How many items that we can say? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Right now? Okay, first let us do one thing. Document dot write the set of items. Sorry, set of items, not set of items. Set of items of array one. Right, you are able to display all the items. 34, 8, 7 and something so on and so on. What if you want to display particular item among those given items? Then here it will come the concept of indexing. So as we are saying that with this statement, it's creating some memory location. And in that memory location, it is saving that group of items. And each item internally, how it is going to be saved is that we can write here just for understanding purpose. The first item that will be located in zero position. The second item that will be located in one, the third, two, four, three. like this meaning of this statement is a r r of sorry a r r one of zero it is referring to the value of 34 a r r of one it is referring to the value of 87 a r r of two it is referring to the value of minus 53 like this and it is called we can say index of a particular value or as position of the particular value. Now, sorry. Now, how to access this one? So, let's write here a statement. The set of, okay, not set of, the item of three. What will be the output if you write like this? That means here, see item means here for understanding purpose, but you can say here ARR. ARR of three, what is the value? We can simply understand. Minus 37. Yes, minus 37, we can say. Here, how many values we are saying? Six values. The, the index is starting from zero. So you can simply say the last indexing will be. Five because of N minus one N means here if you are having 16 values and last index values 16 minus one. If you are having 27, then you can say 26 is the last indexing because N minus one. So here you are saying that. A R R one of three. Then that particular, you are simply clearly extracting that particular item with a particular position number. Okay, that is individual how you can refer, you can access. But if you want to show the list of items side uh, one by one with this with its referring of its uh, sorry 
with the concept of indexing each and every indexing concept. That means we can't write for each and every time a RR of 0, a RR of 1, a RR of 2, like this, right? Now. If it is having 10, 20, 30, 40, 100,000, then you can't write. So you can write like this. For let i starts with index 0 and i less than how many items we have as of now? Six items and i plus plus. So let's just copy this statement. Let's make it here. Dollar of i. The meaning of this statement is a r r one of zero, a r r one of one, a r r one of two. But here, array variable name of i variable. That's it. Because already it is in dollar symbol right now. That is the reason. Okay. So array variable name of zero. What is that value? It will pick up thirty four. Array variable name of one. What is the value? It will pick up. What do you say? 87. So like this that we can say as of now we have six items, right? We are just extracting clearly. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But for example, if there is one more value added somewhere else. Then still your condition is up to six only, even though that item is one more right now. So how can you refer to all the items means automatically you can write here. Write that array variable name. Dot. A built in property we can say length. It will find out total number of items in the given array. Then accordingly it will execute the number of times of that loop. OK, clear. So this is how that you can write some set of items. Of course, I am even writing here additionally. Whereas write even false. Right here, for example, even undefined also. Right, so you just added some items. It's just referring to all the items. Right now, 34, 8, 7, John, false, and so on, all the points. Because of we have given here, finding the total number of items. We are not manually writing that particular number of items. It's, try, it's trying to find out total number of items, and accordingly, it's just referring all the items. Clear now? This is how you can work with the concept of an array. Whereas we have some additional concept, like we can say sorting of an arrays. That concept we will be discussing because to get something more clarity, we'll just move after for, uh, after some statements or certain, not some concepts we can see in advanced level. So as of now, compared to the concept of first variables, from that we have en entered into the operators, from that we have entered or discussed with the concept of state state uh, statements. From that we have just enhanced to the concept of an arrays. And now you are entering into the middle level programming language, which is we can say, I mean, this JavaScript I'm seeing it. Functions concept. OK, then so so far it's clear right now to all of you the concept of an array is how it's working. Yes. Yes, sir. Right then. Yes, now let's move to the concept of. Functions. What is a function? Any statement from anyone, please? What is a function and how it works? What is the usage? A function is a set of reusable, or we can say a function is a 
reusable set of statements. Here we have okay how to write a function onwards to different types of or different ways of function concepts. First, we'll go with concept of basic function. As how you are declaring that variable. Later, addressing that variable value. In the same way. You will be having a function call and its definition where it can have some set of statements. So let us do it. Let us write. OK, let's write something basic. Function. Call and. Definition. So. Let's do one thing first. I'm creating here. Let num1. That equals to something else. 3.4 let num2 that equals to something else. Okay, anything 8.3. Whereas let res equals to 0 defaultly and res equals to an expression uh, num1 divided by a num2 something else. So let us think this is a something logic that you have built. But it is everything is an individual. I mean. Independently, we have written each and every line separately or set of statements. If you think this is a particular concept related to something mathematical operations or math. You can just plan a simple example. We can say if you are having group of items which are related to particular concept like OK, uh, we can some a simple example. You can say pen, pencil, eraser. And these are all stationary items. You will be planning all these stationary items under one particular box so that it will be easy to access. Right now, so in the same manner, if you think this is a point of some set of statements which are related to particular concept instead of writing or independently leaving separately, you have planned to make it all these related statements under one particular name, under one particular block, so that you can just access very easier and for a number of times, and of course, wherever it is required. So, in this case, you can just get a concept of function concept. How you can start with the concept of function? The first one that you have to say function call. This function call. Like as we have already discussed in the very beginning, identifiers and identifier is a name. It can be of any concept or any task that you can declare the name with the given rules. Yes, here I'm writing. Do. Math. Something name. With opening closing parentheses. When the JavaScript parser see this line, it is understanding. OK, these people have given a call to do math. And it will search for the. Definition. Where it is, that is the logic or progressing. Sorry, the logic we can say. So all the definitions that you can write in the top level, of course, either in external JavaScript or as in the embedded format also as of now i am just writing or going with embedded format okay here we can see function definition so what is the name we have given do math how to write the definition with the keyword function function space do math. 
and opening closing curly braces where all the statements that can be planned inside this block. So I'm just cutting off this total number of statements which are independently written and placing under one block. So what happens here is. Let's see. OK, you are not getting any output. Let us see. Because of no display statements. Let's do one thing. Let's add. Sorry. Document dot write. The R E S. OK, let's display here. Right, you're getting. The concept or an advantage here is. As of now, you have planned or in your application, you will be having a number of concepts. We can say in terminology functions. Like we can say login, register, password reset, uh, forgot password, whereas profile or photo uploading. These are different different concepts and different functions you will be writing. And if you don't want a particular function, instead of stopping that, instead of blocking the total number of statements, you can just ignore that particular function call. As the particular function call is not at all executing a no point of function definition here. means you are in you are into the point of you are able to control that set of statements of a particular task right now that's one that is the one advantage that we can say what is that controlling of some set of statements i mean controlling of set of statements that's one whereas you can write okay let's write whereas you can write for multiple number of times, a simple statement, a single statement that just giving a preference to exit for n number of times. Normally, if you don't have math, sorry, if you don't have function call, what you will be doing from line number 16, which is one, two, three, four, four, those five lines that you will be writing for n number of times right now. But now you are writing all the required some set of statements under one particular block where so that 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 particular block is just given a preference in terms of giving a call and you are giving for a number of times wherever it is required. You can simply say one point here. Irrespective of any application, a navigation is common. I mean, home, about us, contact us, something, so on, so on, right? A navigation is common. In that case, a navigation for each and every page, for each and every web page, instead of, uh, what do you say, writing that the total navigation, it's better to maintain at one place with the simple name you can just give right now. So there are a number of advantages that you can see. So work up to this point, the concept of, what do you say, uh, evaluate operators onwards to, decision making statements, loop statements, implementing arrays, concept, and basic function call. I mean, basic function, I mean function call and its definition, how it works. And in tomorrow's session, totally we give preference to the concept of advanced level functions. I mean, different, different functions that we can say. Function with parameters, a function call with parameters and odd arguments, default arguments, anonymous function, callback function, whereas even arrow function, all these things that we will give preference in tomorrow's session. OK. Right then. Yes. Hello, sir. Hello. Yes, so tell me, please. Tell uh, me. So can you please elaborate this one is again uh, the at the rate uh, and the parenthesis dress. Uh, so why we are using the at the rate and parenthesis? Because I missed the 10 minutes class starting. So that's why. At the rate, where is that at the rate? 
ओ सॉरी डॉलर 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 एंड पैसे ओके ओके हां एट सी इफ ऑब्जर्व हियर अलोंग विद द स्टैटिक टेक्स्ट विदाउट ब्रेकिंग द फ्लो ऑफ स्टैटिक टेक्स्ट वी आर एबल टू डिस्प्ले दैट मींस इट्स कॉल्ड अ टेम्पलेटिंग स्ट्रिंग व्हेन यू आर प्लानिंग टू डिस्प्ले अ स्टैटिक टेक्स्ट एंड अ डायनेमिक वेरिएबल वैल्यूज एट द सेम टाइम इन द सिंगल स्टेटमेंट इटसेल्फ then you have to go with the back ticks first point in that dollar the the syntax of representing a dynamic variable in the string you have to write dollar opening closing parenthesis sorry dollar opening closing curly braces and a variable name that is the reason that we have write we have to sorry we are writing a concept of what is a representing the dynamic variable value in the static string concept and this is called totally templating of a string or template string okay clear it's a it means it's a mandatory right sorry sorry it's a mandatory to mention in uh, the document or write and uh, uh, yes in java script it's mandatory of course if you see if you want to make it something and a statement that needs to be display in the active window then the one we have which is called document dot write whereas if you want to display in what do you say uh debug mode then you can go with the console yesterday we console. have discussed the difference yes yeah mm -hmm. console but yeah right okay right mm -hmm. okay then thank you so much <laughs> tell me tell me Sir, uh, in document dot write, there there is a backtick are compulsory. Can we use huh? single quotes? When no no no, it won't work at all. When you have planned, I mean to say, when you have planned to display the variable value, if you go with single okay. quote, what will happen? That is also will display as it is dollar opening closing curly braces R E S in the output. Any my point? Do one thing at your end while such sir while practicing, make it. Single quotes or double quotes? Okay. Okay. Let's see here. Yes. See, you are seeing that characters as it is what we have written, but it needs to refer to the value of that variable means we have to go with backward slash. Sorry, uh, what can I say? Back ticks and the syntax will be and that JavaScript parser will understand. Okay, sir. Let's clear the rest of the points. I mean, all of you, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Okay, then. Then thank you so much to all of you, and then we'll meet in tomorrow's session. We'll move the further points. Okay. Keep it up to this point, practicing, and of course, I will be giving after completing of some points by the end of the week. I will be giving some assignments also. You can just practice on those things, okay? Yes. Right. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much, and bye to all of you. Bye.